Hi everybody, Model Railways Unlimited with the continuing saga of the Hornby S15 and a question, could this be the end of that saga? Well I've been having various communications with Hornby and a chap there called Mark since I lost my temper with the loco and sent it back to him and uh, I was told that um, they're going to send me a brand new one and uh, true to their word, this morning, very well packed, brand new S15 arrived. And I've not even had it out of the box yet, I'm going to do that with you. Um, but we're not going to unbox it as such, but I'm just going to open it and show you. But uh, in the email, he said um, what they'd done, they had it at their repair department, and they decided to send it to another site for further investigation. Now I have asked what that might mean, but I uh, haven't been told anything. But I do really hope they will let us know what on earth it is they find wrong with it. Now this one has arrived and it's apparently been fully tested and is seen as okay. So, well, we'll get it out and put it on the test track initially, see how it goes. So here she is, we've got a complete new kit of parts. And uh, just as lovely looking as the previous one. Right, so here she is, and this is the first time I've run her, so I'm going to gradually open the controller. Right that way, it would seem. Let's bring her back. It's just squeaking and scraping. That's just pickups. Oh, that's my fault. I didn't set the point correctly. Mike, you spoiled her maiden voyage. I don't know. There she goes. Bring her back fairly smartly. The scraping noise is coming from the tender, but it probably is just the pickups. So I'm just um, going through the manual, making sure there's nothing obvious in here that I'm missing. But one thing I have spotted, and I'm really glad to see it, that only apply small single drops of light machine oil to the places indicated. They no longer say three in one oil, uh, which I'm really pleased to say. Uh, see, because 3 and one isn't really good for model locomotives. Nothing wrong with 3 and one for its intended purpose, but that is not plastic model locomotives. Well, I've looked through the manual and no surprises in there. I don't think I'm going to lubricate it at this point because let's hope it's probably been done. And I'm not going to start fitting any of the details until she's proved herself. But there's something on this locomotive that I was going to point out on the other one. But never really got the chance to do, so I'm going to quickly do that now. But I do need to turn around. So what I wanted to point out was the absolutely beautiful internal cab details that's been included in this model it's just adjust me light okay that's better I'll set the camera to manual just look at the details in there looks so authentic so and we may moan about the quality control but uh, Hornby the designers 
the people that come up with these locos certainly do us proud when it comes to these details and I've never had an issue with Hornby UK but I am so intrigued to find out what was up with the other locomotive and uh, wonder how this one will do in the fullness of time <laughs>